gets people expressing themselves as well as having some time out from daily life. This kind of age group, people haven't really been creative since, maybe not even at school, so it's very new to a lot of people. When you're at home, when you're retired, if you're not careful, you're looking at your watch every so sit. often, if you're waiting for something... You sit you're waiting just... for the next meal, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you realise that you start doing things at home like that. Again, you're making time pass quickly. I think at the art we do more talking than drawing. So I remember when I retired, I sat at home and thought, watching the television one afternoon, I thought, well, is this it then? The idea is to give the participants a chance to work with many different materials, processes, give them the chance to experience things that they may want to take home and create at home afterwards. It takes me out of my comfort zone. You need to still experiment and still do different things as you get old because you do tend to get into the same routine and we need pushing to do a little bit more. To come to something like this where you do something different every single week. Sometimes when we've been introduced I think, oh no, but then all of a sudden you create something that is just, well I'm proud of it. And normally I would never say, oh, this is really good. But I've just looked at things and I thought, yeah, that's good. It's a confidence build, I suppose. When you're doing artwork and you're concentrating, I find if I'm in a, not a very good place, art is a good place to go. Because by the time I've finished what I'm doing, I'm back in my car. Well, I go back to work now, so I find I'm in a really good mood for the rest of the day.